I am Jake. This is the first of my little homages to some of my favorite surfers. And the first person is Mr. Dave Rastovich. Now, I will just open up by saying we are mates and Dave is a good, good uh, friend of mine, has been for many years and I love him. He's a super down to earth, real human <clears throat> who happens to also be a incredibly stylish and progressive surfer who was never really into competition, but much preferred to pretty much dance to his own drum beat. Um, he, was very, he was a very, very high level competitive surfer. I think he won the World Juniors. And then he kind of zigged and zagged and peeled out of the whole professional surfing um, story and became more of a free surfer, more of a soul surfer, more of a, you know, just going on, on trips and traveling and doing his own thing. And he was fortunate enough to be sponsored by Billabong at the time. And they allowed him to do it. This is one of my favorites. And it's Dave surfing in India in uh, Taylor Steele's movie, Castles in the Sky. He's surfing this wild wave that goes through a pier on this pretty remote island um, off India. And it's just like, just Dave and his element. <laughs> just ripping, getting tubed on a little 20. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's a 20. It might, I'm, it might not be, but... Uh, yeah, Dave has this ability just to make it look so easy, and it's not, you know what I mean? He's just got this layback style that's just so casual, but every single uh, movement is calculated in a way, in an uncalculated way, you know what I mean? There's not, there's not a lot of pre-thought into real natural progressive surfer's skill sets. Just, it just happens, and he is the, he is the truly the master of it, just like, you know, he is a, he's a graceful surfer with power. And he can pretty much do it all. You know, it's, I've surfed with him in big, huge Hawaiian um, sunset, you know, like solid sunset. I've surfed with him in little peeling point breaks in Sri Lanka. Dave is just a beautifully stylish, powerful surfer who can ride anything. You put him on an alaya or a, you know, single fin or 20s. He's just as graceful as a cat. And I've seen him also uh, body surf and he's basically a, just an aquatic mammalian. Is that a word? I think it's a word. Uh, he, has this, he has this convex chest for which for whatever reason pushes the water off him in such a way that he's able to just kind of glide like a dolphin, man. I've seen it up close and it, it's trippy. It's just another one of his many talents. He's a funny dude. He's a, he's a great musician. He is a, a wonderful partner and father and a farmer. That's a new incarnation. Well, maybe it's not, I don't know if it's new, um, but it's, I think he's passionately got into permaculture in the last couple of years on his property up there on the uh, kind of broken head area of New South Wales, Northern New South Wales. A beautiful family. He's a family man, you know. And Lala is his, is his partner. And they've got a great little spot up there on the north coast. And I couldn't say enough. I couldn't give them enough props and accolades. I really do respect them. I respect Dave greatly. And I also very much love watching him surf. And I've had the good fortune of traveling with a little bit, traveling with him a little bit, and surfing in Hawaii and in Sri Lanka and in Australia and here in Indonesia. And he's very lighthearted, very light and very fun and <laughs> very cheeky uh, he'd probably say the same thing about me and uh, he's a super bro and if you if you're familiar with him you know that he's just he's been riding a lot of twin fins over the last f f decade maybe even more and he rides for our good friend gary mcneil and he rides a it's called an rtt or a rusta taurus twin it has this crazy venturi channel up the middle of the thing i think i presented one in a in a board short recently and it kind of funnels water off and it's kind of built around these this this sacred geometrical pattern and he rides flax boards which are super sustainable uh, and uh, the twin is small you know like small twins and he rides them everywhere and he rips on them in every condition. You know, most normal folk struggle on 20s, kind of in heaving surf. They're more tricky because they're looser through the tail. But Dave 
is, um, yeah, he's just a maestro. He's just a master of many craft. And yeah, Rasta, Rasta man, solid. Massive, massive props to you, Dave. Mm -hmm.